giving me love here tonight you know I really need love I'm neurotic and that's why I'm in show business Yeah. 
Saxophone, everybody. Jeff Ross on the guitar over there. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm here in my boudoir having a great time here at Mosalia. I've adopted the room for my very own. Won't you join me? Come on. on the guitar and the fabulous Sue Beehive Palmer, the piano player. We're here at Moe's getting ready for our show. I love the blues. The blues has let me be who I am and in every other kind of music I've had to apologize for being the controversial freak that I am. So in the blues it's okay. There's a lot of other people that are controversial and different and big women and you know mm -hmm. just different people who've had hard knocks in their lives and aren't apologizing. Mm -hmm. But no, I, I mix it up. I play a lot of swing, in this band in particular, a lot of hard jump swing and boogie and, you know, western swing and East L.A. ballads and um, I don't, mm -hmm. you know, I yodel and sing in Spanish and sing in French, so I don't think, it, it's not just blues and I've taken some flack from blues purists because of that, mm -hmm. you know, they're not always happy when they come and I play a western swing song. But I think that the music comes from inside me, and I'm not just one thing. I'm multi-dimensional, so mm -hmm. how could I be otherwise with my freaky background? <laughs> you know, some of my big idols are uh, Big Maybell and Big Mama Thornton, of course. And I really love some big band singers, especially the great K-Star. So I want to do this song by the great K-Star. It's a song from World War II called The Breeze, and it's a fabulous song about ships and the sailors, and I like it a lot, so I hope you like it too. Day after day I'm waiting patiently And when the salty air is blowing from the sea I pretend it's a breeze fitting a sail moving the ship Bringing my baby back to me I like to keep my window open wide I like to feel the friendly breeze come right inside I pretend it's the breeze filling the sail Moving the ship, bringing my baby back to me That's the wind, keep blowing stronger Keep 
Smith on the trumpet, Johnny View on the saxophone. Um, all the people in this band are really, really talented. Sue Beehive Palmer is an incredible pianist. She has a big jazz background, and she, her band won Best Vintage Jazz Band like five years in a row in San Diego, her other band, Tobacco Road. And um, the bass player, Adam Stern, he's in this punk rock band called Youth Brigade, and, and uh, he used to be in that band, Royal Crown Review. He's a great bass player. Mm -hmm. And uh, Steve Geller, the drummer, has been with me for like eight years. He's been with me forever, so I'm his big claim to fame. Right. Jeff Ross, used to, the guitar player, played in Rank and File and with the Bellamy Brothers and uh, William Clark Band. He's really accomplished. Mm -hmm. And the sax player is Johnny View, who played with the Pleasure Barons with Country Dick, Joe, John Doe, and Exine, and yeah. Mojo. That was an incredible all star show. And he also has his own record out called Side Man, Johnny View. And the trumpet player is Robbie Smith, who's played with a bunch of jazz people. It's a big seven piece band, and it's really fun. It's really big sounding. I love it. Cool. Mose Alley Blues Club, the past, present, and future in live blues. From New York to New Orleans, from Beale Street to Chicago, it all comes to Santa Cruz at Mose Alley. Check us at mosalley.com or call 831-479-1854. Mose Alley Blues Club, 1535 Commercial Way, Santa Cruz. What happens when you combine the world's finest German hops with rare Canadian malted barley? And add the cool, clear waters of a shimmering spring-fed lake. How about Big Trouble? Well, yeah, I think that um, definitely the show is uh, political in its own way. And I think that's what makes me a little unique from some other blues and swing artists. I mean, I do a bisexual swing song called I'm in Love with a Girl. I don't think you'll be seeing the cherry poppin' daddies doing that bisexual swing song. And I do some songs about size acceptance and about loving your own body. And um, certainly songs about religion, like the Lord was a woman. And 
-hmm. You know, I mean, I and even the boob piano playing, I think it's a way of destigmatizing my body. I know it's it seems yeah. trite and humorous to people, but to me, I think it's a way of encouraging others to be creative with their own bodies and mm -hmm. not to be afraid of them. Mm -hmm. So in the bigger picture, it's much more profound than it seems. <laughs> Here's one by Special Request. It's a song off of our new CD. It's a kind of a beatnik jazz song. It's called Poetry Cocktail. Hope you like it. <laughs> Quit the bubbles and spin the dope. Let me help you to these three little words. I'm gonna lay on you now. You know, because those three little words, they're out of sight. Beep, beep. 
Bop, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Well, I think I'm definitely singing more maturely on Swango. My voice has grown immensely in more ways than just two. I mean, it's a big voice and it's getting bigger and that's wonderful. I think that um, I'm not afraid to... I, I always... All my records mixed up styles a little bit. I play, And a lot of people, you know, criticized that and said, well, maybe if you'd make up your mind, you'd be a big star. But I can't just stick to one thing any more than I can just stick to one facet of my personality. It would be very difficult for me. So all of the music is from in me or from someone close to me like Sue or my environment like East LA Blues or Ballads. I think that this record is just more, um, it still has all the eclecticism of all the other records but it's more mature as far as my singing goes. Mm -hmm. The song selection, it's not, there's not as many silly songs on it, you know? I mean, some people think The Lord Was a Woman was a silly song, and I'm in love with a girl, maybe they think it's silly. But to me, those songs are important, and they were important to say, and I still do it, I still do those songs live, because I think it's important to, to shatter stereotypes and talk about this stuff, you know? How do you think the record's different? I don't know, because I haven't heard it yet. You haven't? I haven't. No. Well, that's sort of criminal, isn't it? I mean, we're doing this show, and you haven't heard that's the record. That's what I'm here for, to hear it. He needs to hear this record, and so do you. So the record's called Swango. It's on the Sire Records label, and I have a martini and the same jacket on the cover, so it'll be easy to spot in your local record it's hangout. It's going to be just like a living album. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody.
Moe's Alley Blues Club, the past, present, and future in live blues. From New York to New Orleans, from Beale Street to Chicago, it all comes to Santa Cruz at Moe's Alley. Check us at mosalley.com or call 831-479-1854. Moe's Alley Blues Club, 1535 Commercial Way, Santa Cruz. Last year, local, state, and federal law enforcement officials arrested hundreds of people for selling illegal cable de scramblers and recovered the names of thousands of customers, each of whom could face a felony conviction, six months in jail, and a $2,000 fine. So if you don't think using an unauthorized black box is a crime, you should meet some of the people who do. Call today to get legal. Simply register your box and start paying your bill, and you're home free. No questions asked. I've been friends with uh, Lydia for about 32 years, so no, not only am I her uh, manager, I'm her close friend, yeah. which makes it, we work very well together. I've been actually managing her and stuff for almost 15 years. Yeah. Uh-huh, yes. How did, you, uh, how did you meet? Well, believe it or not, we, um, she was playing in a place and I never had heard of her before. Uh -huh. And I went into a club with some friends of mine. and. Uh, just to let you know that we were in the club and somebody was giving her a bad time in the corner and she couldn't escape. So I just very nonchalantly walked over there and said, come on, give the lady a break. And I moved some people over and we became friends from that day ever since. Yeah. Primarily anybody that, that does this for a living really do, aren't interested in other kind of jobs. I, even though um, I have uh, uh, one, of my, um, one of my band members is an attorney. So you're the lawyer. Did you read my document? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't practiced for a while, but I'll read. Yeah, I'll read that. Um, usually my phone starts fairly early in the morning, nine o'clock. I start getting calls to see what days are uh, uh, her availability. Mm -hmm. And uh, throughout the day, I'm very fortunate. I had my office built in the back of my house, uh -huh. so I'm there pretty much. 24/7, as they say, all I mean, all day long. If I need to make calls, I try not to miss my calls, and I'm on the phone uh, talking most most of the day, which I like to do anyway. So it makes it real easy for me. <clears throat> um, but you know, I worked all my life too. I'm a registered nurse, and I'm a social worker, and I kind of gave up all of that just to be uh, in the music business because I do love it that much, and I love Lydia, yeah. and my husband is the percussionist in the band also. So it makes it easy. So I just got a set of uh, congas right here, some topas. Got the tumba and the conga. Got a set of bongos. They're LPs basically. You know, they're all made by LP. Uh, I got a set of old Rogers timbales. A little bit of cowbell equipment, some chimes and cymbals, bells, toys. You know, little things that you horse around with. Keep everybody. It's more of an accent. I'm more in this band. It's not more like Latin percussion. I'm more in this band as, as a support. You know, you just, uh, we all kind of follow her, believe it or not. I mean, her strong suit is us really staying with her rather than to try to play over her. Yeah. So you kind of got to play around her, you know, and kind of play behind her a little bit. Well, when, when, when you play with people for a long time, for one thing, you you start to know if, if, they, if they make move A, you know they're going to make move, move B, or if, the, you know, when you work with a drummer for a while, you know when, when he plays a certain riff on his drums that that means he's going to this next riff. And yeah. you, you just know how to read people, uh -huh. and a lot of things are unspoken. It's the, like you're playing a song and, and you go, yeah. you know, <laughs> and everybody does something, you know. I'm trying, I'm trying to get a hold of Liddy at the hotel right now. Yeah. Yeah, has uh, Lydia Pence uh, uh, checked in? Well, what happens, there becomes like a, a commitment. And the commitment's kind of like a, a, not marriage per se, but it's kind of like something involved a family thing. And you really look after each other. You get like very, uh, uh, you know, defensive if somebody says, oh, so, you know, hey, we're never too old, or hey, she's still, you know, rocking. But, you, you know, you really, it's kind of like a family thing. And, and if everybody can stay kind of tight as a family, you can really make this work. And uh, we got that feeling right now, and, and it, it's really good. It's like not so much a revision, because everybody thinks that she's, uh, like, went away. She never went nowhere. We've been playing all along for the past, you know, all, all, she never really quit. But it's just like when you're not on top in the charts, it's kind of like you're, you're not there, you know, uh, visually. But you know, we, 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 uh, we do the best we can. We play hard.
these are the illustrious orders for the band. If you look at the walls, we've got a lot of bands have come, come and gone. Yeah. Have you signed your name on this place yet? Yeah, I think we did at some point. That would be a fun thing to go find our signature somewhere yeah. here. But they're here somewhere, I'm sure of it. Yeah. I called Alex and he left an hour ago and I got a hold of Lydia. She's at the room, so she's coming over here now, too. All right, so if Alex left an hour ago. Because he wants to do a full on sound check. Well, we're, Alex is going to be here in a little bit, yeah. Well, probably isn't going to take him an hour and a half to get here, is it? Yeah, an hour and a half from his house. I got to go back to the room and change and get Kathy before we play. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't want to do it now because if I go back now, she won't be ready. Yeah, right. I have to sit there waiting. Well, after we get the sound check done, and, yeah, and, and, uh, we'll, and then you can run back and come back. Because I told her, you know, that he goes, oh, well, I didn't know you said broadcast, broadcast. I said, broadcast, get over here. It's Hollywood tonight, you know? It's Hollywood. Guys, order your food? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah. go yeah. sneak some. Where's that at? I got it. Kids, my yeah. kids. <laughs> I'm gonna go get me some chicken sandwich or something. Uh, I guess. That's Robert. Hi. Hey. Hey. Again. Hell. From Roadkill. We were playing at a military base in Japan, and the U.S. Army guy who was supposed to get us to the airport. Uh, showed up late to drive us to the airport, and we missed our plane. And then the Army just said there, there was no more planes out of there on that airline, and, and he called his commander and he was just like, oh well, too bad for them, come on back. And so we were stuck in the airport in Japan with no way home other than the drummer's credit card. We had to buy our own tickets and fly home. So that's your tax dollars at work, folks. Yeah, well, that's good. That wasn't with Lydia, though. No, that was another band. <laughs> but that's the most stranded I've ever felt. And in the airport in Fukuoka, Japan, with no way home. Road yes, that's roadkill. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you leave your home for days and days. Yeah. And I know. You got another woman somewhere around.
down easy for oh, your love me is gone let me down easy for your pain this thing is wrong
producer Rob Zuckerman and Mr. Steve Dunn. Sugar, not that you know me, I don't care. Hit me on down, easy. Give it up for Miss Lydia Pants. I think it's great, you know, to be able to do that, you know, be able to play the tunes and people ask me, hey, play this, and they go, God, we, hey, we don't even know that. Yeah, we know we, we haven't done it, you know, for mm -hmm. such a long time, but um, I think it's great, you know, people that remember, because it brings back a lot of their memories mm -hmm. through our music in those times, and to be able to still be around now and have, have them come to gigs with maybe their, their kids and then their um, grand, you know, the grandkids and bring them mm -hmm. and stuff. It's yeah. just, uh, it's totally great. I mean, that's what it's all about, you know? Mose Alley Blues Club, the past, present, and future in live blues. From New York to New Orleans, from Beale Street to Chicago, it all comes to Santa Cruz at Mose Alley. Check us at mosealley.com or call 831-479-1854. Mose Alley Blues Club, 1535 Commercial Way, Santa Cruz. Last year, local, state, and federal law enforcement officials arrested hundreds of people for selling illegal cable descramblers and recovered the names of thousands of customers, each of whom could face a felony conviction, six months in jail, and a $2,000 fine. So if you don't think using an unauthorized black box is a crime, you should meet some of the people who do. Call today to get legal. Simply register your box and start paying your bill, and you're home free. No questions asked. Have you ever been surprised by like somebody that you know comes up to you and says, "Wow, I you know like grew up listening to your music and you really influenced me." Yeah, it does. It does surprise me because I've never thought of it that way. You know. Cause I don't want maybe because I don't want to be that old. <laughs> no, but it's not really. It's just, it's a great feeling to have somebody go. Oh, we played, you know. It, it, I mean, because that's. I think it's because that you've been around so long and you're still doing it, you know. And that somebody can say that to you. Oh wow, maybe I've made a mark. Maybe I've, you know, it, maybe I have made a etch and in the music field, you know, but I don't think, I don't think about it all the time, it just, when people say that to me, I says, well, that's great, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I appreciate it, just bottom of my heart, <laughs> yeah, it just blows me away. Just because you're always on my mind And with me all the time 
if he ain't all that won't bother me no if he turns and he says no he's got to give me a song but if he pulls it on i got to try my goal it takes a lot of good love it takes a lot of good love there ain't no woman that don't love her man. But if he lies to her, it's something that she won't understand. In the world he's giving her is going somewhere else.